I get in in 2002, I make a meal, I lose it all. I go, I work on oil rigs, roofing houses, come back in real estate, okay, learn all the lessons from that and feel like I know what I need to know. Okay, not a new agent anymore. I'm starting over, but I'm not a new agent. I have all this knowledge. I'm willing to put the work in and it still takes me six years to get to 100 deals, okay? That should tell you right there that this business just does not happen overnight. Uh, my question to you is, I have a 50% click-through rate. Is that good or should I tweak some things? Uh, what's a good click-through rate, open rate? What, what have you been seeing? Um, here's the best advice in the world you ever get. <laughs> Completely stop looking at that. Okay. <laughs> here's the thing. With open rates, everybody's concerned about open rates and click-through rates and da-da-da-da-da. The thing is, is that most of the people on your database that aren't opening it up right now, that are part of the percentage that aren't opening it, are going to start opening it when they become interested in two and a half years. Then they're going to start opening it because now they're interested in doing something. They're going to open it for about two months straight before calling you. And so they're not even open. Your best client isn't even opening up right now. So why are we worried about open rates? It's not the open rates. Here's what's the most important thing to me. The impression. Help them, that you care about them, that, that you want to you know, help them with the bigger goals in their life, not just make a sale. And through that, you make more sales. Okay, when you can create a situation where they feel like they're part of your extended family, okay, then that's when you've really got something. And I call this FE, friend, family effect when you're giving them that family effect when they feel like they're your brother cousin mother best friend from high school okay that's the way that you need to approach every prospect that you have you would push the pause button you would say wait a minute let's wait a minute let's let's step back here unless you're in a situation where you need somewhere to live okay but if you were just upgrading because you want to upgrade or it's an investment property or something of that nature then you're gonna push the you're gonna push the pause button for a second. Okay, so what happens is is when a real estate agent is working through these cycles and they have buyers and sellers that are looking at properties or maybe under contract, and then that scary moment happens in the market that, that makes everybody push the pause button. The current buyers they have, the current sellers they have, most of them will push the pause button and it scares the agent. The agent thinks that, you know, we're done for. You know, we're, we're never gonna sell property ever again and it scares them out of the business. Yeah, I mean, I talked to an agent yesterday and she's scared to death about Zillow taking over, monopolizing the industry, wiping real estate off, uh, agents off the map. Um, she said she was gonna quit checking the box to uh, syndicate her listings on Zillow. And I'm like, why? That's only shooting yourself in the foot. Your buyers aren't gonna see it and your sellers are gonna get mad that it's not on Zillow, right? I said, listen to me, Zillow has done nothing but help you, right? Everybody's looking at Zillow like, like it's this entity that is out to get us and you know, and maybe they do have some kind of hidden agenda and it is wise to be paranoid, I guess, to a certain extent about things, 